Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone out there. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be tackling the cryptic crossword from today's Saturday paper, the 28th of October 2023. Written, composed, compiled, set and uh, magicked into life by Liam Runnels, who publishes in the Saturday paper on Saturdays and on Tuesdays in The Age. Uh, you can see his Twitter details on screen there as well. Uh, very good crossword setter, especially for beginners to cut their teeth. Uh, very fair cluing, uh, lots of common indicators and common synonyms to make the process not too difficult, but also the odd curly clue and usually some really fun and interesting and kind of sensible um, surface readings. So it's got a lot to offer for beginners and for experienced setters. Uh, solvers. So um, we're going to give it a give, give it a crack. I discovered to my delight that I can solve these on the Saturday Paper website. So it provides uh, all of the software, and so you can see this the clue that I'm selecting, etc., etc. So that makes life a bit easier for me setting up the um, the streaming software. Uh, you'll see Liam's details on the screen as well if you want to follow him on Twitter. Uh, and I, the only other thing to say is that I'm recording this on Saturday night, uh, quite late. So apologies if um, the lighting is awful. I have no idea how to do lighting, and I find that doing it during the day makes it a bit easier. Uh, but hopefully, you'll be more focused on the grid and the clues and the machinations of your own minds than my stupid little face in the corner. So uh, without further ado, I think we're going to crack on in. Uh, my approach, as always, will be just to try to work through quite quickly. If I can't solve a clue quickly, I'll move on and come back. And hopefully that makes for a fairly efficient video. So um, I'm going to start. We've got a slightly unusual grid in that one across is not in. It doesn't exist. Um, so we'll, we'll start with one down instead. And we have um, Overlook Devastated Region. So this is an anagram clue. The devastated term is a fairly straightforward anagram indicator. And so we're looking for a six letter word and the word region has six letters. So if we rearrange those letters, we get ignore, which is another word for overlook. So that gives us a starting letter for nine across. Heroic cheekiness by worker. Okay, so a worker is quite often uh, a hand or an ant. I think ant is more likely at the end because the definition is probably heroic, which is an adjective, and adjectives more likely to end in ant than hand. And a word for heroic with this mask here, I think is gonna be gallant. So gall is uh, another word for cheekiness. I wouldn't have got that if I'd had to rely on a cold solve, I don't think. Not with, I wouldn't have picked cheekiness as gall, but so it is. Uh, let's try three down. Ideas won't regularly come to mind. Okay, so I think, yeah, so this is a, um, I don't know what you call this, a kind of every second letter type clue. So if we take regular letters from ideas won't, which is to say we take letters at regular intervals, uh, we can see that the second letter, starting from the second letter, we go D, A, W, N in jumps of two. That gives us dawn, which indeed means to come to mind. Um, these kind of clues are often indicated by words like oddly or evenly or every now and then um, to suggest the letters that you need to select. So uh, 11 across is looking very gettable. Um, instrument from intros of old rock groups, acoustic numbers. So this one writes itself as organ. Uh, an instrument is an organ. The introductory letters of old rock groups, acoustic numbers are O-R-G-A-N. And that gives us our answer. I should actually try to make a point sometimes of reflecting on the surface reading of the clue as I'm reading it. I'm in the habit of just processing the clue from a from a wordplay point of view, and sometimes actually neglecting to realize what's 
what the surface reading is saying because often they're quite funny or topical or so I'll try to keep that in mind uh, old lady in home glaring okay so old can be O um, eight letters old lady in home so an old lady can be gran although if it is probably going to be an ing the word for glaring I feel like I should get that but I'll try 13 across microwaved meal included one piece of spam perhaps meal included so microwaved meal uh, yeah this is going to be uh, this is going to be email <laughs> took me a second to realize that spam was talking about email and not um, the ham uh, so microwaved is an interesting anagram indicator so we're going to fry the word meal to rearrange it to get the e m a and l we're going to include one otherwise known as an I like in Roman numerals uh, and we get a piece of spam perhaps so an email is a piece of spam uh, so that is an A there actually so maybe that is gran uh, oh, so I'm looking thinking flagrant yes flagrant means uh, glaring gran is an old lady in home uh, flat so a flat is a home you put gran inside uh, very good and that's you know, quite a nice surface reading old lady in home glaring she's staring out the window uh, it's a cute surface read and it's one of the great things about Liam's puzzles uh, some cryptic setters uh, Colleen can be incredibly cunning but the surface readings are just a little bit kind of um, nonsensical uh, but I think Liam pays particular attention to, to, to have some fun with them so uh, we are kind of now looking at some longer answers so I'll go with this one here career of immortality overturned by Long Island gangster uh, so this is kind of looking like a complicated one there's quite a few words that could mean different things I think Long Island is li which could be the beginning of the, of the uh, answer uh, but it could be a Long, Long Island gangster some famous gangster um, Gangster could be a career, and career can be a job, but it can also be to kind of career into something, like to move, like a car would career off the road, uh, I think, or is that Kareen? I'm not sure. Um, immortality, I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to move on. 16 across. Uh, elects to bring in four sacred offerings. This is, this feels like um, votives, although I don't know if that's a, a word, but elex is votes and four is IV in Roman numerals. Maybe a votive is, an, is a sacred offering. I've not heard that word before. Uh, I'm going to put it there for a second and see if this V makes sense. Truthfulness of priest. Uh, so this looks like veracity for truthfulness. Let's see if that fits. It does. Priest upset a big town. Yeah, okay. So um, a priest is a rev, a reverend. So if we upset rev, we put it upwards in the grid to make there. And then A is just A. And then big town is a city. So veracity is the truth. And uh, I think votives must be correct. So one of the great things about cryptics, you learn words that if, if the clue had just been uh, sacred offerings I'd have no idea what the, what the answer was and even if I had all of the the crossing letters in place I'd be left with VTVS and be wondering is that votives or vetoves or vi vitoves or who knows so moving on to 19 there's a V in that 14 down as well which will probably be useful looks like lavatories um, 19 across Queen swung by Eastern Sovereign with tango ensuing just paying a little attention to the surface there 
Queen swung by Eastern Sovereign with Tango ensuing. Tango is probably T from the phonetic alphabet. Queen is often ER, and if it's swung around, you might get RE. By Eastern for E, ensuing. Yeah, I mean, ensuing suggests it could be an ING, and that makes me think that the sovereign could be the king. Is this. Maybe Eastern is not the E. And what are we looking for? Ensuing. Mm, not sure about that. I'll leave that for a second. 24 across. Orchestra played for Wagon Puller. So this is an anagram of orchestra, uh, which will be a wagon puller. Um, C with an ER on the end, I guess. This must be... Uh, that feels like it's an obvious word that I just can't think of. 26 across, go and strip. So take off. This is a double definition clue. So we have two terms. There's no word play as such. Good Lord. Take off. There's just two terms that mean the same, that have the same definition, final answer. So to go is to take off and to strip is to take off. K in place under 20 down is gonna be useful. Smash perfect bowl. Smash perfect bowl, strike. So this is a double definition as well. So to smash is to strike and a perfect bowl in 10 pin bowling is a strike. Uh, that uh, makes sense, but we'll come back to that. Um, 14 down. Career of immortality. Career could be livelihood. That's going to be it, I think. So career of immortality overturned by Long Island, L-I. So evil is immortality. Long Island and gangster is a hood. That's interesting. I, I wouldn't have seen immortality as a synonym of evil. Um, but apparently it is. Uh, so let's try 19 again. Queen swung by Eastern Sovereign with, with Tango ensuing. Queen swung by Eastern Sovereign. Uh, resulting, uh, resultant. So a sultan is a sovereign, uh, or maybe even an eastern sultan. Yeah, so queen swung is ER for, um, I always forget what that stands for, but ER is a, a term for the queen. Swung around to get RE. Sultan is an eastern sovereign. Tango is T, and that's a, an abbreviation. Just a point on abbreviations. You can't just abbreviate any word to its first letter. It needs to be a genuinely uh, recognized abbreviation. So tango is, in the International Phonetic Alphabet, um, the word for, t for the letter T. 21 down, aimless commercial break. So it's gonna be presumably add and break and aimless, adrift. Okay, so a commercial is an ad on TV and uh, a break between, say, two people is a rift. Uh, and so a drift is aimless. We're getting very close to knowing what this is. Uh, 24 across orchestra played for wagon puller. Uh, uh, so this is a cart horse. And the reason I was struggling with that was I was thinking of the person who drives the cart rather than the person who, or the, the entity <laughs> that pulls the, 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 the wagon, which is the, the horse itself. Okay, so we've done most of the left-hand side of the grid now, so we're in good form. Uh, what are we at? 14 minutes, okay. Um, so, four down. Attentive to debts after poker game. <clears throat> okay, so debts is normally 
uh, used to represent the letters IOUs. So an IOU is a debt that you have to somebody. Uh, and uh, debts after poker game. So a poker game will be stud, stud poker. So studious is attentive. Uh, a little trick to when, when you're solving these clues, especially as a beginner, one of the one of the difficulties is actually recognizing which end of the clue is the definition. Uh, and there's some sometimes it's quite obvious. Uh, or, or it looks like it's fairly likely to be one or the other just by the nature of the words involved, uh, sometimes less obvious. Uh, one thing that you can do is, so in this case, we've got the word debts in there and that very does, that does very commonly come up as I-O-U-S. And I-O-U-S is a very common word ending in particular for um, adjectives. And so if you're then trying to figure out which part of the clue is the definition, you can think, well, is attentive a uh, adjective? Yes, it is. Is poker game or game an adjective? Well, no. Um, actually, game is in some sense an adjective because you could say that a person is game, uh, but uh, so in this case, it could have gone either way, but uh, that's where we get. Uh, also, the word order as well suggests we've got debts following something else, so that's probably uh, going to be the, the rest of the word play. So, entire left-hand side of the grid is done. Let's try 12 across. Undermine record by Radiohead with rework. So... So... Radiohead has nine letters, and so it could be being reworked, anagrammed, to make a term that means undermine record. But undermine record is an unusual term. I don't know what that would mean. Record often is EP or LP. Radiohead with rework. Radiohead could be the first letter of radio, the head letter, just giving the R. So. Uh, undermine. Yeah, I'm not sure. It could be record by plus the R from Radiohead, all anagrammed to mean undermine. Pausing because I think this is one I could get. But again, I don't want to waste too much time. So, some buffoon's laughter was offensive. Yeah, it took me a second because I knew the answer, or I thought I knew the answer, but then it wasn't quite resonating, and then I realized my error. The answer is onslaught. So this is a, a hidden clue. I think it's also called a telescopic clue. And it's it's an interesting kind of clue because the word onslaught is, if you if I can focus, yeah, I can do this. Um, you can see that onslaught is literally written directly inside this term. And so this will be indicated by a word like some or part of, or there's various other ways of suggesting that you need to take the central section of a string of words. Um, in good clues, it will always be more than one word. It won't be just within one word, it'll be across words. Um, so you get onslaught right in the middle there, and an onslaught is an offensive. The reason I paused was because I read offensive as an adjective, as, a, as an adjective, because in the surface reading, some buffoon's laughter was offensive. That is an adjective. But in the final answer, we need to consider the word offensive as a noun. So an offensive is an onslaught. This kind of playing with parts of speech is really common in misdirecting the solver. And it can be really, really effective. Uh, there's been one in particular, I probably mentioned this before, but um, the word entrance has come up a number of times, maybe two or three times I've seen that and been stumped until I realized that, although in the, in the clue the word is read as entrance, for the purpose of processing the clue, you need to read it as entrance. Uh, so, um, and, and hiddens are interesting because they're probably my least favorite kind of clue. One, because there's not a lot of wordplay going on, but two, because they're 
often very hard to spot. You'll you'll be trying to process the word the, the, the word play on all sorts of other fronts, and then you finally realise the words right there in front of you. And it's often I find that, that hidden clues are some of the last ones that I solve, even though in principle they should be the easiest because they literally just spell the word out right in front of your eyes. Uh, five down. Playing poems on the radio. Uh, so playing poems on the radio question mark. Ah, very good. That's a nice clue. Um, so the answer is verses, and why is that? So another word for poems is verses with an e. So v e r s e s, and on the radio is, a, is what we call a homophone indicator. So if you were to hear somebody say the word verses, in this case on the radio, someone, the DJ says the word verses, uh, although you may understand from context that they're referring to verses with an E, it could, it could in theory be saying the word verses with a U. And so that's what these clues ask you to do. They want you to re-spell um, the word poems versus in a different way that sounds the same and we get verses and that means playing because if Collingwood is playing Essendon then it's Collingwood versus Essendon. Uh, 12 across. Undermine record by, oh that was the one we looked at before. Any further progress? Uh, uh, a, a record could be a disc. Uh, so disc by Radiohead with rework. So disc re and rework, discredit. Ah, oh, there we go. So rework is edit. So um, record is disc, Radiohead is the head letter of radio for R, and then rework is to edit. 10 across. Japanese beans, that feels like edamame. I think that's a, a Japanese bean. Dutch cheese, yeah. Dutch cheese is Edom and three starters from America. So just the three starting letters of America for edamame. Six down. Jack, rabbit, shaver, herd, unsettling story. Uh, fear something or other. Jack, rabbit. Oh, or deer something. Shaver, herd, razor. Razor. Ah, here we go. So fear razor, I think it is. So a shaver is a razor, uh, spelt differently. But if we, just like that previous clue, we've got a homophone indicator. So if you hear the word razor, you might think they're saying razor like this spelling. And jack rabbit for fear. I don't understand that reference. That might not even be correct. Or well, maybe it's tear razor. And a jackrabbit. Nah, I'm not sure about that one. That's annoying. Hmm. Well, we'll see how we go at the end. I, I, I'm not, I don't, I couldn't really decide between tear and, 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 and fear there unsettling because normally I think tear jerker fear jack rabbit oh no um, hair razor so um, a, a jack rabbit is a hair h-a-r-e and a shaver is a razor r-a-z-e-r -E and the whole thing is homophone so instead of instead of hair Razor, we get hair, razor, in the different spellings. Okay, seven down. Rebuke to pet, disturbing dad in toilet. Uh, disturbing dad in toilet. So this is going to be <laughs> um, bad dog. That's a nice clue. So a rebuke to pet if, is to say bad dog. And if we disturb the word dad, we get this ADD. And it's inside a word for toilet, which is the bog. Eight down. Told again to sleep with a little teddy. 
told again. So normally if there's an again in the clue, you're looking for re. Um, and this is probably going to be stated, restated. So to sleep with a little teddy. So Ah, oh, so uh, for some reason, yeah. So to sleep is rest, and a little teddy is a plus a little teddy, which is a ted. So there we go. I think I was thinking that the again in the clue represented the re, but actually told again is the definition. So then the wordplay comes after that. 17 across, D on the end of the clue. So that might suggest that we're looking at a past participle. So that might be useful to think about. Um, actually, as it turns out, it doesn't look like that might be the case because baby flower picked by picked up by mate. Picked up is often also a homophone indicator because when you pick something up, you overhear it. Uh, a baby flower picked up by mate. Uh, husband is a mate. Baby flower is a. Hmm. I don't know about that one. 17 down. Make cutbacks to HR Centre ironically. To HR Centre ironically. Make cutbacks. not really sure about that. 22 across. Charges scoundrels smuggling ecstasy. So ecstasy would normally be an E. Scoundrels is going to be a four letter word starting with R. Uh, so I think this might be rape. No, that wouldn't work. Uh, oh yeah, it does. So a scoundrel is a rat. Uh, ecstasy is E. Uh, the scoundrels are smuggling the E. So they've got them inside of them. And charges are rates. 18 down. Result of sting from B couple on Noah's boat. So again, nice surface reading. Question mark suggests something a little bit kind of skew if about the way this is working. Uh, so result of sting. Sting could be a bite from B or a sting from B could be a bite. Uh, couple on Noah's boat. Uh, result of or a result of a sting could be like a um, some sort of a lump or something. A couple on Noah's boat. Hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be two animals, I guess. Result of uh, a result of a sting also could be like an arrest situation when a, a police sting. Something raid. Hmm. Okay, we're, we're losing uh, our way a little bit in this final section. Calm, heartless spouse on romantic outing. Okay, so that is sedate. Uh, a heartless spouse is the word spouse without its central letters, without its heart. So that gives you the SE. And a romantic outing is a date, and sedate means to calm, or just calm as an adjective. 25 across, injured cockney with a weapon. This is nice, so this is um, depending on cockney slang. So another word for injured is harmed, but if you said that in a cockney accent, it would be armed without the H, and indeed armed means weapon, uh, means with weapon rather. Uh, 25 down. Topless actor Clark is fit. Uh, topless actor Clark is fit. Hmm. That's probably very easy, but it's not coming to mind. 27. Copper left to print out number 
of criminal. So cop is often CU from the periodic table. Left could be L. Yeah, so this is going to be culprit. Criminal is a culprit. Copper for CU, L for left, common abbreviation. To print is PRIT because we're outing an abbreviation for number, which is N. Uh, 20, 25 down topless, actor, clerk is fit. Able, okay. Uh, so Clark Gable, was it? Um, so Clark Gable, Gable has the top letter removed to give us able. Uh, so we're honing it, homing in now. I always get that wrong. Uh, 17. Make cutbacks to HR Center ironically. I wonder if HR Center, if ironically is a um, anagram indicator because the letters are there. So to make cutbacks. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be retrench. Uh, which is an anagram of HR Center. So ironically is an unusual anagram indicator, probably a little tenuous, um, but as I always say, in the end, virtually any word <laughs> can be used as an anagram indicator. It's always worth thinking about. Uh, now, baby flower picked up by mate. So it's not husband, a baby uh, rose, ah, okay, so it's, it is rosebud. So a baby flower is a rosebud. Uh, picked up is Rose, I think, and mate is Bud. So it picked up, things picked up, they rose, I guess is what that's about. So I think we're on our final clue, adding down. The result of Sting from B, couple on Noah's boat. Uh, bite mark, okay. So uh, let's just before we go any further. Oh, we don't quite know about. Oh no, we did figure out that hair up there. Is there a confirm grid, or is there a way of it telling me if I'm correct? Uh, apparently, apparently not. A uh, check grid. Can I do that? No, it won't let. The, maybe I need to be a paying member to do that. Uh, so bite mark will be a result of a sting from B is a bite mark. Uh, a couple on Noah's boat. I don't know if I understand that reference. What, uh, a result of sting from, could just be a result of sting, bite mark, from B couple on Noah's boat. Well, so Noah's boat is the ark. So B couple. Ah, okay. So B is, is the letter B. Uh, I don't know if that's an official abbreviation or if that's just a kind of play on the fact that B and B sound exactly the same. Uh, a, couple, uh, a couple is an item, so two people who are going out are an item, and then Noah's boat is the ark, and so bite mark is our final answer. There we go. Um, in my rush to try to get this done quickly, uh, I feel like I am overlooking some of the surface readings and some observations that would be fun to make. Um, probably what I might try to do as on my overtime, I'll probably finesse the way I do this, but also certain observations like that I might also put up in YouTube shorts um, so with things like my clues of the day. Um, and uh, so, so yeah, this will be an evolving thing. Hopefully this has been an interesting solve and you learn some things from it. Uh, if you have suggestions on things that I could add in, ways that I could approach things differently for maximum um, fun and education and uh, opportunities to ridicule me, then please do so. Uh, and uh, of course, as they all say, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. That would be awesome. And uh, thanks again to Liam for the crossword. I'll be back soon. I'll be back tomorrow with a clue of the day and soon enough with another, another crossword, probably from the big issue. Uh, until I see you again, uh, take good care and um, solve some crosswords. See you soon.